in those processes that God spoke and that was the big thing and then the evolution of species that God directed all that to take place until uh, humans um, we, we, we have the formation of the human species I don't think you guys were online yet, but I'm teaching today um, because the Kellys are in Greenland. So if you guys would uh, keep them in your prayers over this weekend. They're meeting uh, with, with people in several cities there uh, that have reached out to them. So a lot of these places need uh, apostolic churches. So if you guys could be praying for them for their safety and also for uh, the things that are going on in Greenland right now. Anything else here we need to go back over? Explain a little more thoroughly, maybe? I don't know. This isn't my normal area of teaching, so no promises I have an answer on it. All right. How about Isle Man? Do we have Isle Man? No? Okay. All right. Well, I've covered what I need to cover here. If there's nothing further, all right. It's, everyone's good for a coffee and tea break then. So I guess you can hear me on the, yes, the mic then. Me. Okay. Um, so they would they would say that the unfortunate interpretations are that um, the six days of creation were about creating the whole earth. Uh, and so yeah, the, no, not that that's a big deal. Even if you were to take their point of view, it's not cataclysmic or anything, right? So they would. They would say that the proper interpretation would be Genesis 1 and 1. The heavens and the earth already existed. And the six days of creation weren't about creating the earth. It already existed. But that God was creating or preparing Eden for how he would end that creation with the creation of, of Adam and Eve. And so that was just the preparation of the garden for humanity is the uh, historical uh, take on creation. At least that, that's the name they give it anyways. 